Now the question is how many types of relations we have. So at this level of class 11th we need to understand how many types of relations we have after getting the concept that what is the relation. As I told you if A is a set having elements suppose ABC then you will know that A cross A will have A comma A, A comma B, A comma C, B comma A, B comma B, B comma C, next will be C comma A, C comma B and C comma C. There are 9 elements and total number of subsets can be formed from this will be what? Total number of subsets will be 2 is to power 9. Every subset is known as the relation. Now, out of all these relations, few relations are given the specific name. One first is known as the void relation. Question is what is the void relation? Phi. Very simple to understand. Empty relation, null relation or void relation. Phi itself is known as the void relation. Then another is the universal relation. What is the universal relation? The Cartesian cross product in all total. That is if all elements of A cross A are taken then the relation the type of subset is known as the universal relation. So what is the universal relation that if A is any set A cross A we have obtained all entire group set of elements of A cross A is known as the universal relation. Now the next thing comes what is the identity relation? What is the identity relation? Suppose in this case we have ABC three elements mainly belonging to our original set A on which we are tracing the relations. So on set A if elements are ABC then group of all repeated order pairs A comma A, B comma B, C comma C this is known as identity relation. So identity relation is that where all possible repeated elements of original set are grouped together such relation is known as identity relation. So I told you three types of relation initially and I will explain you few more relation but void means phi, universal means set a cross a complete itself and identity means group of all possible repeated elements on a cross a is known as identity relation. Now I would like to tell you what more type of relations we can have. One of the relation we have reflexive relation. What is meaning by reflexive relation? If I give you one example that each line is parallel to itself. So if relation is parallel to and on the lines given in a plane. So each line is parallel to itself that means when relation is true with the element itself is known as the reflexive relation. Suppose if line L1 is parallel to L2 then obviously L2 needs to be parallel to L1. This is known as the symmetric relation. It is reflexive when the result is true with itself that is I can say element A is related to A itself that is each line is parallel to itself is reflexive but if somebody says each line is perpendicular to itself is not reflexive. Symmetric means if A is related to B that is if line L is parallel to M then B must be related to A meaning by the relation must be true even after changing the order of elements that is if L1 is parallel to L2 we say L2 is parallel to L1. So this is what this is known as symmetric relation. What is a transitive relation? Suppose for transitive relation I tell you 
A is having relation with B. Suppose Ram is brother of Shyam and Shyam is brother of Mohan, then automatically A will be related to C. That is Ram is brother of Shyam, Shyam is brother of Mohan, then Ram will be brother of Mohan. So if A is related to B and B is related to C, this implies A is related to C. So what can I say? What can I tell you that if in a set, if reflexive relation is true, symmetric relation is true, transitive relation is true, if all three relations in one relation are true, then such relation is known as the equivalence relation. Or the most simple example I told you, you are given many parallel lines in a plane. You can say, each line is parallel to itself. It means that this relation is what? Reflexive. L1, L2, L3, L4. If line first is parallel to second, then second will be parallel to first. Symmetric. First is parallel to second, second is parallel to third, then first will be parallel to third. Transitive. If all these three relations are two in one relation, one set, such relation is known as the equivalence relation. So this is all about the relation that what is the relation? If we have set A, we have obtained Cartesian product, we have obtained some of the its uh, Cartesian products subset, each subset is a relation. If entire is taken, it is universal relation, none of the element is taken, void relation, only repeated are taken, identity relation. If relation is of the reflexive, relation with itself, symmetric, E1 reciprocal is true, transitive, if A is related to B, B to C, then A has to be related to C. And if all three relations are true in one relation, it is known as the equivalence relation. So this is the theme to understand the topic of the relation.